this slightly complex piece of new equipment, the Delta Mod Tech. I'm going to introduce you to Jason Newbill, who's design engineer with the company. Jason, it's all yours. Hello, and, and, and thank you, Dave. Uh, my name is, is, is Jason Newbill with Delta Mod Tech. And Delta, if you're not familiar with us, we design and build custom converting packaging and label die cutting equipment. Um, but this particular piece of equipment is a, a label finishing machine, so it has some of the basic features, unwind, do the kiss cutting, laminate, um, and over lamp varnish, slit rewind. Um, we are going to run it, but before we do that, um, I'm going to explain a little bit about how we come up with what we're going to put on the machine. Right? The biggest question we get from customers is, what modules, what kind of finishing am I going to need to do? They ask us, you know, what kind of options do other customers put on the machine as far as uh, foiling or laser cutting? What kind of advanced features do they get? Uh, there, you know, there's so many options you can do when you do, you know, if, you're, if, if you're into wine labels and you have certain decorating. So we'll have customers come and ask us, we just buy the machine that the last five people purchased. And that's not really the right approach. We'd rather design the right piece of equipment. Maybe you don't need all the features now. Maybe we can design some of those in. Um, but one thing we ask is, you know, what, what kind of business do you, do you think you're gonna be into? Especially now when we see that there's a big push for the really short run jobs. And on the opposite side, with the digital printers going a lot faster each, each year at each version of their printer, we also have to do high speed cutting, high speed finishing. So you kind of have to look at both sides of that. Are you gonna do really short run, really long run, or are you gonna do both? So on this piece of equipment, we are showing a couple of those features just to give you an idea of what is new and what's available. So I'm just gonna walk through the machine quick and then I'll start it up and we can do some of the quick changeover and some of the high speed cutting. So we're gonna start at station one on the machine. Um, it's also on the screen. Station one, uh, it's a fully servo driven machine, so every station has an individual servo on it. So this one is a dip station, and that's what set, sets your web tension and your web speed. So to die cut accurate, to have a web, a, a web track straight through the machine, the most important thing is what the web tension is set to and that it's constant. So if it's a constant web tension, we can always get the die cutter in the right spot. We can always slit in the right spot. We're gonna move to station two. This would be the flexo station. You could put your, old, your varnish on or you could do a spot print or a back print. Um, you could also do the over lamb unwind if you didn't want to varnish. Then when we get into stations three through six, that is the semi-rotary cutting. So this is um, new, uh, it's not a new technology to semi-rotary cutting but we're, having to, we're forced to go to higher speeds with this. Uh, the previous version of the Delta semi-rotary modules would go about 150 feet per minute. These ones will go up to 300. And what's nice about it is uh, customers that have version one or version two of this can upgrade their machine by just buying these two modules. The ones on three and six is just a new accumulator they can put on. So you don't have to trade in your machine, you don't have to get rid of a previous machine and buy a new one, you can just upgrade it. We're going to move on to station seven. At the end, that is another nip for tension again. Uh, we peel the matrix, and then you can see there's a Dina slitter module. It's an automatic shear slitter, so you can set, you can automatically set your knives. You can have that set with the recipe for different jobs, and then we're rewinding the finished labels. So we're going to go back and look at the middle stations three through six. I'm going to start the machine. And as you can see, this one has two die cutting stations. Um, there's two make cylinders, two flex dies. So when you talk about quick changeover, we're gonna look at how you can change from one die to the next in a quick, you know, in a quick time. So you could have your job set up um, at the front end with your printer where each job file is coded with a, with a barcode. So that way when it gets on the finishing machine, we can tie the barcode to a certain, certain dies. So in this case, I'm running it the die in station one. You can see the die, the, 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 the die cutting. And I'm gonna push a button, go to station two. You'll see the web stop, the die will stop. It'll position the web in the right spot. And cylinder number two will start cutting that job once it gets positioned. So you could have this automatically do it on a barcode. And while one job's running, you could pull this, the, like the first die out, put on a new flex die and get it ready for the next job. So that's just one of the quick changeover features. Now I also talked about the high speed. So I'm gonna crank up the speed. 
Uh, like I said, the original, uh, the first and second versions of this could run 100 to 150 feet a minute. Now with this one, we go up to 300, even faster, 330 feet per minute. So again, it just gives you an idea of how fast some people are having to convert, convert their labels just because the printers are going this fast. I was talking to a customer this morning that said they'll run digital printed jobs that are over, that are over 100,000 feet, 200,000 feet. And they also do short run stuff, so they're gonna upgrade their machine to do this type of work. And then again, at the end, we have the auto slitter, another quick changeover. And then I'm gonna mention also on the die cutting, um, if you have really short run, you can also do, do a, a, a laser system. So in booth 3523, we have a laser that is changing jobs on the fly. It reads a barcode, it'll, it'll load the new die file, and, and then change back and forth from job to job. So you kind of got to look at, are you going to do short run? Are you going to do really high speed, long, longer jobs? Are you going to do both? So you kind of have to pick and choose what modules you're going to get. And then, so that's, we're just trying to show what, what is new and what's available. Thank you.